Um, when it rains, it pours. Hey, you redheaded bastard. So I know this is going to be a horrible email, but I listen to your podcast every fucking Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, or whenever you get it up here. Will you guys stop saying fucking Wednesday? It's not even Tuesday. It's late Monday, you fucking whining cunts. For the last fucking time, I tape it Monday morning my time. It's not about you. It's about me. So go fuck yourselves. Fucking bitching about a free goddamn podcast. You guys, the internet is a bunch of whiny cunts. Whiny, unoriginal cunts, by the way. All right? You people out there, you got to set up, you got to fucking step up your Twitter game. Stop using stock fucking lines. I want the last three minutes and 28 seconds of my life back. It's just like, isn't that the most unoriginal fucking thing ever? I just threw up in my mouth a little bit. Like, you've read that a million fucking times on, on fucking Twitter, and you're going to write it again like, like you're going to get a laugh. You know, has anybody ever come up to you, told you a fucking street joke, and then right after that told it to you again? No, because it's only funny once. But you fucking Twitter hacks, the same fuck, that feeling when, wait, what? That's like the fucking hacky tag. Same fucking people will then bitch that there's no fucking original TV shit out there. And then they're just these unoriginal cunts. And you know what's funny? They're all, they're just repeating shit that they've heard. And then they're all laughing their fucking asses off at their own shit. It's fucking annoying. Uh, so anyways, Bill, hey, you redheaded bastard. So I know, blah, 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 blah. Anyways, um, I've been riding on a high point for the first time this month, and I wanted to get your opinion on this matter. I was on a low point when it came to the ladies, and I couldn't bag a 300-pound baldy for the life of me. Uh, baldy? You're talking about a woman here. You're saying with a fatty with a shaved pussy? What are you talking about? All of a sudden, I've been landing every hot broad I've been interested in for the last past six months and I just don't fucking get it. Well, dude, don't overthink it. It's like golf. Don't get in your head. Just fucking swing away. Um, how does it work that nothing about me has really changed besides I bought a new shirt and maybe did a few more pull-ups than normal, but it just seems like when it's raining, it's pouring pussy. Do women smell it on you or what? I'm not exaggerating this, man. I've landed two of the hottest girls I've ever met in my entire life this past two weeks. I just wanted to ask the age-old question why in the fuck does this all happen at once why can't life space this out so i can ride the wave for a year or two and be happy instead of having it all happen at once and life sucks eight out of 12 months of the year um because getting pussies it's like playing golf it's a fucking mental game all right and if you have a bad shot you got to block the last one out it's like a relief pitcher you let up a home run fuck it give me another ball and you just block you got to block it out but what happens is, is, you know, you start to feel like you're in a slump and then you get desperate and fucking women just, they smell it on you. You're coming in there, you know, you're trying too hard, extra splash of cologne, you're, you're fucking, you're right in their grill. Like Louisville, full court fucking press, you're right up on that fucking pussy and then that's it, it's over. They get all nervous and they pick up their ball and they go home. You know, you can't give a fuck. The only, I, I've only golfed a few times, but, like, I don't keep score. I refuse to give a shit about that sport, and I have a great time. And everybody else is fucking throwing their clubs and getting all pissed off. I don't give a fuck. I'm having a great time. You know what? I'm going for the hole. I'm going for the pin. You know? I fucking miss, and I suck, but I'm having a good time. That's all you got to do. You got to go Phil Mickelson on these bitches, all right? Don't fucking try and two-putt and get par. Go for the birdie. <laughs> You know, and if you miss it, who gives a fuck? You got to stay in that zone and not giving a shit, sir. And even then, you're still going to, there's going to be fe feast of famine. That's, it's just how it is. If I knew the answer to that, you know, I would have done much better in my, uh, my pathetic trying to get some career.